everyone, Justin here. Thank you for joining me. Now, you may already know about my lifelong dream to travel around the world visiting all different countries. I don't know when I'm going on that trip yet, but I've got a backup plan that's working out pretty nicely for me. I've written letters to kids all over the world, and they've been writing back to me, talking to me about what life is like where they live, and sending me some pretty cool photos too. This is the next best thing to a real global trip. Oh man, I am tired. I'm sorry, I was staying up late last night reading this awesome mystery novel. You know what that reminds me of? I had a roommate once who would always stay up late reading books, and he would always fall asleep with his reading light on. I didn't like that very much. One day I go up to him and I'm like, hey, excuse me, could you remember to turn your light off before you go to bed? I just, I just can't sleep with the light on. I like sleeping in the nice dark, you know? And you know what he said to me? He goes, Ugh, Justin, wow, you would never be able to live in a place like Norway. And I'm like, huh, what? Norway? Dude, you live in Pennsylvania. What are you talking about? Anyway. I think I know what he was talking about now, and you will too. Join me as we explore another awesome country on this episode of Let's Take a Journey, Norway. Today we're going to take a journey to the country of Norway. Norway is on the continent of Europe and it's in an area known as Scandinavia. The other Scandinavian countries are Sweden, Finland, and Denmark. If we take a look at this map here, you can see that most of Norway is surrounded by water, that blue area there. These are seas and the Atlantic Ocean. You can also see that Norway's got a lot of little inlets and islands too. All right, are you ready to get started? Dear Justin, my name is Sigurd. I live in Norway in a town outside Oslo. Oslo is Norway's capital. It's a beautiful city. I'm eight years old and I'm in the third grade. My dad took this picture of me. Hi Sigurd. Our main language is Norwegian. Our alphabet is like yours, but some of our letters look a little different. Most people in Norway speak English too, so You'll be fine when you visit. Oh, well, that's good. It'll be easy to get around. I'd like to learn some words in Norwegian, though. I'd like to teach you some simple Norwegian words. Oh, fantastic! Hello is hallo. Yes is ja. If you want to say no, say nej. Okay. I think I've got that all. Yeah. Oh, ja, I've got it all. <laughs> My family lives near a big forest. We can ski right from my house. My friends and I race on our skis. We all learned how to ski when we were very little. I think I was three. There's a funny saying here that people in Norway were born with skis on our feet. Winters here are very cold and we don't get a lot of sun. It's dark by the time I'm home from school. Norway is a great place to see the northern lights. It's a natural happening when the sky turns green and blue and purple. You have to go far north to see it. Oh, wow, would you look at that? Oh man, I'd love to go to Norway to see that. In the summer, I hike, ride my bike, go camping, and play football, what you call soccer, in a big field near our house. This is my mom and me on a hike. In winter, we spray the field with water and it turns into a giant ice skating rink. Everybody skates there. In the summer, the sun does set, but the sunlight never really goes away. That's why Norway is known as the land of the midnight sun. See, that is what my roommate was talking about. That's why he said I can never live in a place like Norway. Have you ever been playing outside and then it's the late afternoon, like four, maybe five o'clock, and then it starts getting dark, but it's not really dark, like in this picture? Well, that's called dusk or twilight. This is what nighttime looks like in Norway during the summer. It never really gets dark. 
My friends and I don't like having to go to bed while it's still light out. We want to be outside playing. I have shades on my bedroom windows to block the light so I can sleep. Ha! Huh. So I'm not the only one who needs it to be dark to sleep, Jim. Summer is nice here. When school is over, we go to my grandparents' cabin. It's on an island in the sea. I sit by the water and catch tiny sand crabs in a net. Don't worry, I let them go. Oh, look at that. He caught a little crab in his net. Do you see it? The crab right there? Wow. We row our small boat across the water to meet friends who live nearby. I took this picture of my cute little cousin rowing the boat. We swim even though the water is cold. Sometimes we camp outside overnight. You can probably tell that I like the outdoors. Oh, I sure can say good. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. What a great way to spend the summer. There's a fjord nearby. Do you know what that is? I certainly do. A fjord is a deep valley that's filled with seawater. They're made when glaciers many, many years ago move slowly but surely near mountains, carving out the valley as they go. See, you can see the mountains on either side of the water in this picture. My brother and I fish in the fjord. We catch mackerel and my dad cooks it. We eat it with boiled potatoes, cucumber salad, and sour cream mixed with some sugar. Mmm. That sounds good. Just catch a fish and fry it up on the same day? Yum. I bring my lunch to school. Sometimes it's caviar on a slice of bread. It comes in a tube and I squeeze it onto the bread. It tastes kind of sweet, kind of fishy. You know, I think I've had caviar before at a fancy party. Oh, and it makes sense that it tastes fishy. Caviar is fish eggs. Now I'll tell you about my family. This is my dog, Elske. That means love in Norwegian. She's a Norwegian elk hound. Oh, hi Elske. Oh, you're a good girl, aren't you? <laughs> my brother, Oscar, is 11. He does orienteering in the summer. He finds places in the woods using maps. We were out with my mom the other day. Oh, wow. Orienteering, that sounds like a lot of fun. I like to do that. My mom is a chemist at a university. She works to invent new kinds of medicine. My dad works on an oil rig out in the ocean. He's gone for 10 days at a time, then comes home for a bunch of days. Then he goes out on the rig again. I miss him when he's gone. Oh, I know of plenty of kids who have a parent work for a long time like that, but it's always fun when they come home. I love to go to the Oslo library with my mom and my brother. It's so big. Most people don't drive their cars around Oslo. We ride trams and buses. Lots of people have electric scooters too. Well, I wonder how Sigurd gets to school. Ah, well, here you go. I walk to school. It's not very far from my house. There are 22 kids in my class. My whole class will stay together for six years years. We study math, science, religion, music, and art. I like it when we break into small groups with my teacher, Miss Hansen. Miss Hansen has been my teacher since first grade. Next year, my class will switch to another teacher for grades four, five, and six. I have a big math test tomorrow, so I better finish this letter and study. Please write soon. Maybe you'll visit soon, too. Your friend, Sigurd. Thank you for the letter, Sigurd. I promise I will write you back soon. Well, that was a lot of fun. I hope you learned as much about Norway as I did. What about Sigurd's life is similar to your own? Can you think of anything that's kind of different? So that about wraps up our journey to Norway today. Are you ready to stamp your passport? I will see you again soon. And in the meantime, remember to always be clever. Hey, hey.